Hello students, welcome all of you. Today we are going to start the next topic that is Ohm's law. Let us consider the statement of Ohm's law E. It stated that the as long as the physical state of conductor remains same. Now what are the physical state of conductor? Length of conductor, temperature of conductor, density of conductor, etc. As long as the physical state of conductor remains same, then the current flowing through conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across it. Mathematically, we can write it as the current flowing through conductor I is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across it. Therefore, we can write this as the voltage or potential difference applied across the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through conductor. Now, we have to remove this proportionality sign. Therefore, we can write V is equal to when you want to remove this proportionality sign, we have to insert the proportionality constant. Here, the proportionality constant is capital R into I. Therefore, V is equal to capital R into I, where V is the potential difference applied across the conductor. I is the current flowing through that conductor. Then, this capital R or proportionality constant capital R is known as resistance of conductor. Resistance of that conductor. Therefore, we can write resistance of conductor capital R is equal to here. Capital I in this side multiplied to capital R. On that side, it becomes divided by divided to V. Therefore, capital R is equal to we can write V divided by capital I. Therefore, we can also say that the ratio of potential difference to the current flowing through conductor is, not, is always remains constant. That constant is known as resistance of that conductor. Here, the SI unit of resistance is ohm. Ohm is equal to SI unit of potential difference is hold divided by SI unit of current is ampere. Therefore, we can write 1 ohm is equal to 1 whole divided by 1 ampere. Therefore, from this equation, we can define 1, one ohm resistance as if the potential difference applied across the conductor is 1 whole and the current flowing through that conductor is 1 ampere, then we can say that the resistance of that conductor is 1 ohm. Now, from this equation, we can also write as I is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Therefore, we can write first the current flowing through conductor is directly proportional to the voltage or potential difference applied across the conductor or second, we can write the current flowing through conductor is inversely proportional to the resistance of that conductor. Now, what is the resistance then? What is the resistance? Resistance capital R is nothing but the opposition to flow of electrons. Now, when we connect a conductor across a battery, when we connect a conductor across a battery, that is, when we apply a potential difference across this conductor, then in that case, electron flows from negative terminal of battery to the positive terminal of battery. In that case, we can say that current flows from positive terminal of battery to the negative terminal of battery in this way. The direction of current from positive terminal to the negative terminal of battery, whereas the direction of electron is from negative terminal of battery to the positive terminal of battery. Now, the current flowing through conductor is nothing but rate of flow of electron through that conductor. As the number of electron flowing through conductor increases, then 
the current flowing through the conductor increases. But the resistance is nothing but opposition to flow of electrons through that conductor. Resistance opposes to flow of electron. Resistance kya karega? Wo electron ko conductor mein se jane ke liye kya karega? Usko oppose karega. Us, unko stop karega. Now, as the opposition to flow of electron increases, the resistance of that conductor goes on increasing. Now, the resistance of conductor is given as R is equal to voltage divided by current. Now, how this resistance produces in that conductor? We know that there are large number of free electrons in that conductor. When we apply that, when we connect that conductor across a battery, then the electron flows through that conductor. Now, during that flow of electrons through that conductor, they collide on the positive atoms of that conductor. When the electron is going to the conductor, what will it do? The electron will not have two eyes. When the electron is going to the conductor, the positive atoms will go to the conductor. The positive atoms will go to the positive atoms. They will collide and strike. Then they will change the direction. Then they will go further. फिर वो नेक्स्ट एटम पे जाके क्या होगा स्ट्राइक होगा कोलाइड होगा नाउ इफ देर इज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कोलिजन देन यू कैन से दैट जिस कंडक्टर में कोलिजन ज्यादा होगा उस कंडक्टर का रेजिस्टेंस ज्यादा होगा जिस कंडक्टर में कोलिजन कम होगा उस कंडक्टर का रेजिस्टेंस कम होगा फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू कंसीडर आयरन रॉड और सिल्वर रॉड और एल्युमिनियम और कॉपर रॉड देन द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ आयरन इज ग्रेटर देन द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ कॉपर बिकॉज़ When the electron flows through the iron rod, जब ferrous और लोकन के rod में से जब electron flow होगे, तो वहाँ पे collision ज़्यादा होगा as compared to the copper. Copper के rod में से electron जब flow होगे, तो वहाँ पे collision कम होगा. That means the resistance of copper material is lower than resistance of iron material. The resistance of that material depends on how compactly that material is packed or how compactly the atoms are packed inside that conductor. Now, the resistance of conductor is given as R is equal to voltage divided by current flowing through that conductor. Or we can say that resistance is nothing but the ratio of potential difference applied across the conductor to the <coughs> current flowing through that conductor. We have also discussed the 1 ohm resistance. 1 ohm resistance is the resistance of conductor when the one volt potential difference applied across the conductor produces one ampere current flowing through that conductor then we can say that the resistance of that conductor is one ohm now next we are going to discuss the iv characteristics voltage current characteristics or voltage current graph according to ohm's law we know that Current flowing through conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across it. Then, when we plot it on a graph, let us consider on the x axis there is voltage or potential difference, and on the y axis there is current. On the x axis, we have to consider the independent quantity, while on the y axis, we have to consider the dependent quantity. That is, here we are going to change the voltage and the corresponding current changes flowing through that conductor. What do we do here? Voltage step by step from 0 to next level. We are going to increase the voltage in step by step and we are going to note down the corresponding current. Then when we plot these values on the xy coordinate or on the graph paper, we will get a straight line passing through origin. Now, this indicates that as we increase the voltage, the value of our current flowing through current also goes on increasing. Now, when the voltage or potential difference applied across the conductor is zero, then the current flowing through that conductor is also zero. The experimental verification of Ohm's law. For experimental verification of Ohm's law, we require the electric component as battery, switch, conducting wires, resistance, emitter, 
voltmeter and resistor which are connected as like this here is the battery having positive and negative terminal then next is plug key now the positive terminal of battery is connected to the ammeter which gives the current or which measure the current flowing through that conductor then ammeter is always connected in series with the circuit then next is the resistance now the voltmeter is always connected in parallel with the resistance here is the positive and negative terminal of voltmeter now here is the rheostat is used to change or to maintain the amount of current flowing through conductor flowing through that circuit and here is the variable terminal of that rheostat r h here is the key k now from this circuit first we have to maintain the rheostat at its higher value such so that the small amount of current flows through that circuit now first we have to note down the small amount of current flowing through that circuit and the potential difference applied across the resistance now first we have to note down obvious no observations number voltage and current now we have to no note down the first voltage and current now next yaha pe kya karna hai hame pehle battery here yaha pe humne kya kiya hai battery ka positive terminal ammeter ke positive terminal se connect kiya then ammeter ka negative terminal connected to the resistance resistance ka next terminal humne rheostat ke variable terminal se connect kiya hai rheostat stat ka ek terminal humne plug ke ke through se बैटरी के नेगेटिव टर्मिनल को कनेक्ट किया है नाउ इनिशियली रेवोस्टेट की वैल्यू जो स्लाइडिंग कांटेक्ट होता है उससे हमें वो मैक्सिमम लेवल पे फिक्स करना है सो दैट वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ करंट फ्लोस थ्रू दैट सर्किट इन दैट केस वी हैव टू नोट डाउन द वैल्यूज ऑफ करंट एंड वोल्टेज हम यहां पे वोल्टेज की फर्स्ट वैल्यू और करंट की वैल्यू लिखेंगे बाद में हमें रेवोस्टेट का जो कांटेक्ट स्लाइडिंग कांटेक्ट होगा उसे स्लाइड करना है रेवोस्टेट पे सो दैट द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू सर्किट गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग जैसे हम स्लाइड करेंगे वैसे करंट क्या होगा इंक्रीज होगा एंड द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अप्लाइड अक्रॉस द रेजिस्टेंस आल्सो गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग देन अगेन वी हैव टू नोट डाउन द सेकंड रीडिंग वोल्टेज एंड करंट वी वन आई वन वी टू आई टू सिमिलरली बाय एडजस्टिंग दैट रेवोस्टेट एट डिफरेंट points we have to measure the current and voltage corresponding current and voltage now we get the number of readings v3 and i3 now when we calculate the ratio of voltage divided by current we can found that this ratio v1 divided by i1 v2 divided by i2 v3 divided by i3 always remains constant that constant ratio is nothing but the resistance connected in that circuit which is in ohm now from this experiment we can demonstrate or we can verify the ohm's law as well as this experiment is also used to find out the unknown value of this resistance by taking the number of readings and when we take the ratios of voltage versus voltage and current we will get the unknown value of that register